armed with little more than a laptop. Wael Ghanim does not look like the leader of a revolution. But look how the people react when they spot him in the streets. Along with a group of young Egyptian activists, this 30-year-old marketing director for Google worked in his spare time to organize the January 25th protest that sparked a grassroots revolt. But after the third day of protests, secret police snatched Ghanim off the streets. During the week and a half Ghanim spent blindfolded in solitary confinement, the Egyptian uprising just kept growing. When he was finally released on Monday, Ghanim emerged to discover a city transformed. When I went out to the street, I can't, you know, I can't tell you my feeling. I can't tell you my feeling. It was, I was so proud of the people. But he also learned many of his fellow street protesters had been killed. This Egyptian internet revolutionary uh, now right. has a warning for the man who's been president almost as long as he's been alive. The time for negotiation, Ghanim says, um, is over. This president needs to step down because this is a crime. And I, I, I'm telling you, I am ready to die. I have a lot to lose in this life. I, you know, I, I, I work or, you know, now I'm, as, as an, I'm, I'm on a leave of absence, I work in the best company to work for in the world. I had the best wife and I have, I have, I love my kids, but I'm willing to lose all of that for my dream to happen. And no one is gonna go against our desire. No one. And I'm telling this to Omar Suleiman, he is going to watch this. You are not going to stop us. Kidnap me. Kidnap all my colleagues. Put us in jail. Kill us. Do whatever you want to do. We are getting back our country. You guys have been ruining this country for 30 years. Enough. Enough. Enough.